Barney's Imagination Island. One very special night, Tusha had two friends in her bedroom. One was her friend Men, and the other was her favorite toy, Dinosaur Barney. Tusha's mother was reading a bedtime story to the girls about a ship that sailed to Imagination Island. Before she could finish the story, Tusha's mother had to go take care of her two baby boys. Sometimes I help the babies too. Tusha said proudly. That's why my parents give me this pretty hard necklace. Tusha and Min decided to read more of the story. Look, said Min, the ship gets caught in a scary thunderstorm. Just then, there was a flash of light and a boom of thunder. Whoa, laughed the happy boys. It's Barney, Min and Tosha shouted happily. In a burst of colorful sparkles, the little toy dinosaur had turned into a great big friend who gave great big hugs. Hi, Tosha. Hello, Min. Barney laughed. I sure like your story about the ship that sails to Imagination Island. I'd love to ride on a ship like that said Min. Maybe you can, said Barney, if we all use our imaginations. Tusha and Min looked at the book and tried to imagine an adventure on a ship. Suddenly, sparkles of light flew out of Tusha's book and into her closet. I think something fun is starting to happen, Barney whispered. The girls watched as a stairway appeared in the closet. Barney climbed the stairs and called back to his friends. Come on up, said Barney said. You won't believe this. Tosha and men climbed the stairs and opened a small door. It's a ship, said Tosha. Just like the one in your book, said Min. And it was. They were all standing on a very big wooden ship that rocked gently from side to side as it sailed through the ocean waves. Min and Tusha pointed up at the large sails that flopped in the warm and wonderful wind. When Min and Tusha looked down from the sails, they got another surprise. Look, Tusha. Our clothes have changed. That's right, laughed Barney, who was dressed like a sea captain. We've got a fine ship and a good wind in our sails. I think we're all ready for a fun adventure at sea. I like to have fun, said the happy little boys. I want to play too. Men and Tusa were surprised to see their friend, Baby Bob, climbing out of a tiny doorway, carrying her favorite yellow blankie. But before they could say hello, they heard somebody whistling. It's my big brother, BG, said Baby Bob. That's me, laughed BG as he climbed down a rope and joined his sister. We have a few more friends hiding on this ship too. Everyone started looking around the big ship. This is like hide and seek. Bibi Bop giggled. After lots of looking, they found Sean hiding in a barrel and Derek behind the ship's big steering wheel. Oh, good, said Barney. We have lots of friends to have fun with now. Now, when we're all on our way to Imagination Island. The ship sailed for a long time. 
When Imagination Island was getting close, there was a flash of lightning and a boom of thunder. Oh no, said Kusa, it's a storm. Just like in the book, the rain started to fall and the ship was rocked by bigger and bigger waves. The waves made the ship go up and down so fast it was hard to stand. Barney said, this is a strong ship. We'll be all fine. Then BG called out, here comes the super giant wave. Hold on, everybody, said Barney. The wave made a loud roaring sound as it hit the ship and lifted it high into the air. Suddenly, the ship stopped rocking. That's good, said Min. Maybe the storm is over. There's no more rain, said Derek. And the clouds are leaving too. Gee, now the island looks really close, said Sean. Barney picked over the side of the ship and got a bit surprised. That's because we're on the island, he laughed or at least above it. And they were. The big wave had lifted the whole ship into the tops of palm trees and left it there safe and sound. Bidiba found a rope ladder and everyone climbed down to the sandy beach. I don't think we can get the ship down from the trees without help, said Barney. Then what can we do? asked Pusha. We can go exploring, said Barney. BG, you and Billy Buck can stay here and watch for other ships, said Barney. Aye, aye, said BG. Me, me, laughed Billy Buck. The rest of us can walk through the jungle to find help, said Barney. Everyone had fun hiking through the jungle. There were lots of colorful butterflies and sweet-smelling flowers. The air was filled with sounds of singing birds and chattering monkeys. Finally, Barney and his friends found a very funny-looking house. It was painted with bright, happy-looking colors and had a roof made of dried grass. Maybe there's someone inside who can help us, said Sean. Barney turned a little crank by the door and everyone laughed when it made Jack in the Box music. As the, just as the music finished, a little door popped open. Hello, said the man inside. Welcome to Imagination Island. My name is Professor Tinkerpot, said the man. I invent all sorts of wonderful toys, but the Professor wouldn't let anyone play with the toys. Sorry, said the professor. I came to this island because I don't like to share. Barney asked Professor Tinkerpot. He could help the, get the ship out of the trees. No, I can't, the professor said sadly. I'm too busy trying to fix my balloon machine. It only needs one more part but there's nothing on the island to make it work. Then Tusa had a good idea. She took off her heart necklace and carefully put it into the balloon machine. Try it now, said Tusa. She tried the machine and it worked. Out came balloons of every size and color. Good things happen when you share, said Barney. Professor Tinkerpot decided Try sharing too. He asked everyone to play with his wonderful toys. You're right, Barney, he laughed. It's fun to share. Professor Tinkerpot was so happy that he decided to leave the island and share his toys with children everywhere. May I go with you on your ship? He asked. Now I know how to get it out of the trees. Professor Tinkerpot used his balloon machine 
to make lots of giant balloons that were tied to the ship. When there were almost too many balloons to count, the ship began to pull loose from the trees. Here we go, said Barney as the ship went up, up, up into the air. We're flying, giggled Baby Buck. Just like birds, laughed Digi as he flapped his arms up and down. Everyone cheered as the ship made one last circle around the island, then turned out over the blue ocean to head for home. With Barney at the wheel, the ship, the ship sailed on and on until the sunset sky had become a sea of twinkling stars. It's beautiful night for flying, Barney said happily, as he stirred around a puffy white cloud. You'll be home soon, Professor Tinkerpot said to Sotosha. He smiled and gave her heart necklace back to her. Don't you need it anymore? She asked. We can make another, he said. Besides, you already gave me a special gift. You taught me how to share again. Tosa gave his or finger but a very big hug. Looks like we're almost home, Barney called to his friends. Peachy and Didi but waved goodbye. Then disappeared in a colorful burst of sparkles. All of the children gave Barney a hug and thanked him for the wonderful adventure. It was fun for me too, Barney chuckled. A little while later, Tusha and Men tiptoed down the ship's stairway and back into Tusha's bedroom. There sitting on Tusha's bed was the little toy dinosaur. Barney, both girls asked in surprise. They turned around to look at the ship's stairway, but it was gone. I guess it really is time for bed, said Min with a big yawn. I think so too, said Tusa. Tusa picked up Barney and carried him back to his place by the wind. Thanks again, Barney, she whispered sleepily. She gave him one last squeeze, then went to bed. Tusa and Min fell asleep right away, both dreaming happy dreams of their trip to Imagination Island. High in the night sky, a beautiful ship hanging from a cloud of balloons glided silently across the face of the moon, but no one saw it. No one except Barney. The end.